Man, I am genuinely worried. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm actually scared. I was catching up with a mate of mine, Sonny, who you will see in this clip right here. We agreed to meet at the gym at 5.30 p.m. and naturally we both rocked up at 6 p.m. because we gotta hold up the reputation of our people. Anyway, we started off with a light jog on the treadmill and then Sonny had this look in his eye. Like I just knew that this guy was up to something. Like he was gonna ask me to do something stupid. And later on that night, both of us signed up to do Melbourne's half marathon. Now you may not think that this is a really big deal, but a half marathon is essentially 13.1 miles. In other words, I think it's like 21.1 kilometers. And my best at the moment of like running just in general is about four kilometers. And by the end of that four kilometers, I'm like wrecked. Oh and so I'd be lying to you if I told you that I wasn't freaking out right now. <laughs> now the longest I have ever run was about 11 kilometers when I was about 16 years old. I am currently 24, which is eight years older. And I'm also about 15 kilos heavier than what I was. It's mostly, mostly, mostly muscle. <laughs> but look, in my defense, and I know there's no excuses, but I've had like, knee injuries on and off. I've had to deal with depression, anxiety, I've, like a lot of stress eating and a lot of like study periods where I'll just literally only be studying. And so like compound all of those things together, you get what you see right now. But hey, on a good note, because it's also great to recognize the achievements that we've made so far. We are four kilos lighter than we were at the start of the year. So why did I do this? Why did me and my mate sign up to do this half marathon? Well, I can only really speak for myself and I've got three reasons why I signed up to do this thing. Number one, it was an impulse decision. It was a very spur in the moment kind of thing. Like I reckon Sunny asked me literally because we were just both running side by side on a treadmill. And then the thought, I imagine it went on something along the lines of this, a thought just magically just appeared in his mind and he heard about the Melbourne Marathon. He's like, oh, hey, isn't that towards the second half of the year? Why don't we just sign up for it? And then he just asked me in the moment and we just ended up doing it. So I imagine that that's what happened. And I think the thoughts that kind of ran through my mind at that moment was like, oh yeah, why not? I mean, it'd be fun. I've got a mate to do it with, so why not? And I think sometimes impulse decisions can lead to really amazing outcomes. I just hope that this is gonna be one of the cases. Number two, I have plateaued. Like I said, we've lost four kilos since the start of the year. And I genuinely think um, like for a bunch of reasons, like getting used to life now out of whatever we experienced the past couple of years, um, you know, lots of traveling for like work and like getting back into study. Like, I think it's just been really difficult for me to kind of maintain. And I think I've, I cannot, for some reason, push past this barrier. And I know it's very much a mental based thing that I'm not allowing myself to kind of push past this barrier of losing any more weights. But I just generally think like, it's just, there's something that's kind of like blocking me from any, from like pushing past that. And so I think in my opinion, setting a really like challenging goal is a great way to kind of like push past plateaus. Setting challenging goals in general just allows us to step outside of our comfort zones and push ourselves just a little bit further than we thought we could go. And now because I've got an accountability buddy, this could be fun and we can like push each other along the way. Also, we both had to put like 120 bucks down to like sign up to this thing. And I know like my mother would kill me. She would absolutely murder me if I let that 120 bucks go to waste because it's 120 bucks because immigrant families, <laughs> just immigrant families in general. That's the real reason. Like they just like just have this mentality around money that like it's safe, safe, safe. Never ever spend. Why are you, why, why are you spending 120 bucks to run this marathon? Why don't you just, just run in the backyard or just go for a run for 21.1 kilometers? I don't know. Anyway, putting this kind of money down is kind of its own accountability in a way. Like it's, I've made this commitment now, I'm not gonna let that 120 bucks go to waste, so I'm gonna do it. Number three, the third and last reason is because I used to love running and I wanna love it again. In high school, I used to play all the racket sports. Like I used to do badminton, table tennis, tennis, and I also used to do cross countries. And on athletics day as well, I used to run the 1.5K and the um, and the, like the three kilometer run. Like I used to do all that, like all the time. And when I got my knee injuries, that's when things started going downhill. Every second day also in high school, I'd be like running 5K just randomly. Like running was such a big part of my life when I was in high school. It helped me so much with my mental health. And I just like, I just wanna get that love for it again. 
And I'm hoping this time and like setting this challenging goal is gonna help me kind of push past that barrier and actually fall in love with the whole activity once again. I am genuinely worried as to whether or not I can do this. Like I'm scared. I've been talking with it with my mate and like a couple of other mates and like they, their face just drops when they hear half marathon. What? Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely not an easy thing to do. And I personally feel like with the, the state that I'm in, it's gonna be extremely challenging, but we can look forward to it. There's something about running. Like, I don't know what it is, but running, especially like even outside when, you, when you're running and like the winds in your face and like the rhythm of like each of your like feet hitting the pavement or the grass or whatever it is, like that rhythm and that, and the breathing pace and everything. Like there's just something I don't even know how to describe it. There's just something about going for a good run and like beating a time or beating a distance and then stopping and like getting that sense of accomplishment and that endorphin rush. There's just something about it. And I'm excited. <laughs> so hopefully, actually, no, I will do it. We'll do, whether, whether we do it well, that's, no, that's questionable, but we'll do the half marathon. <laughs> By the way, if you sign up to do the Melbourne Half Mara or Full Mara, like if you want to run together, let us know. Like we can train and stuff leading up to it. And if you also have, like, if you are really good at running and you got like heaps of running tips and all that, just let me know, please. I'd love, I'd love some advice. So yeah, anyway, if you want to be here for the journey, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will definitely see you in the next video. Catch you later, bye.